Sections 4 and 5 of the Bella Bill are still up in the air. These two sections deal with the Education Department's control of admissions policies and the language policy decisions which also moved from governing bodies to provincial heads of education. The implementation of these clauses 4 and 5 have been suspended for three more months of consultation. Some political parties are suggesting this decision was taken to appease the government of national unity. Should we now as South Africa expect that uh, all the laws that were passed by the sixth administration when the ANC was properly in power, that now that we've got this uh, coalition with the DA, that we can expect the reverse out of these laws because these processes have gone through a democratic process. Uh, shall we understand now that uh, the DA is going to use the muscle of the ANC actually to get the necessary um, thresholds for them to reverse transformation? But my problem is here is the president uh, striking off um, certain clauses from a bill and that was public knowledge your office should have immediately wrote to the president to ask what must happen why didn't you deal with it immediately because those clauses are the most problematic ones in that bill anc no. chief whip Tuli says the narrative that the anc is reneging on its decisions because of the gnu needs to end the suggestion that um, because of one or two bills, which is the NHI uh, as well as the Bella bill, so now there is a position probably taken by the ANC implemented through the president that all the laws that were decided by parliament sometimes back are going to be reversed. There's no position like that from the ANC. I think the concern that is being expressed about uh, the time at which we have taken to understand the reasons why the president has partially signed the bill into law are valid. I think that they are valid and I think we should support your position that uh, you are going to engage with the office of the president and come back to parliament. National Assembly yes, Speaker uh, Toko Didiza uh, said she would personally take up the matter and look into the timelines for further consultation and what parliament's role will be. She's expected to get back to MPs at the next National Assembly Programming Committee. Abra Babia, SABC News, Parliament.